and we're going to win. We're way up on this guy. It's uh, just incredible that he can, frankly, be even running anything. A guy can't, he can't put two sentences together. He's running. Can't find his way off the stage. See all the stairs around here? How the hell do you not? Where is the stair? He says, where is the stair? To show you how evil the press is, I did this routine where I stumbled and mumbled purposely, imitating him, and they put it on. They said, he's cognitively impaired. Then, then I walked back. I'm, I'm looking and I walk. I thought, uh, what? Where? Where? And he walks off the stage and he's like. So I can't use sarcasm because they're very dishonest people. You know, sarcasm is a disaster. Every time I use sarcasm like that, they say, I couldn't find my way off the stage. I got stairs all over. And if you want, it's only about three and a half feet. I could jump off the front. But this guy can't find his way. So sarcasm is a very dangerous thing with, it, with a dishonest press. So, uh, you know, I go through a long story because they actually had me like walking into a just oh, it's so sad. I said, do people believe that? And I just took a physical, you'll be happy to hear, our great football player is going to be happy to hear this. I took a physical and I passed with flying colors and I took a cognitive exam. I said, doctor, give me anything you want. I want to take it. I think you actually, if you're running for president, I think you should be forced to take it. They say it's not constitutional. So instead of, uh, you know, look, we want, we love our constitution, but now look what we have in office. This guy cannot pass a cognitive exam. But I took a cognitive exam and I aced it. He said I aced it. Thank you very much, doctor. But yeah. And you know who gave me the first time I ever even heard of it? Dr. Ronnie. Do you know Dr. Ronnie? Yeah. He's one of the great congressmen now. Ronnie Jackson. He was the doctor. He's an admiral. He was the doctor in the White House. He was my doctor. He was Obama's doctor, too, by the way. I said, who's healthier? He said, sir, there's no contest. I won't tell you the answer, but you know the answer. <laughs> okay, it was me. He said, the yeah. healthiest guy. He said, if he didn't eat junk food, he'd live to 200 years old. <laughs> That's my kind of a doctor. But he gave me, at Walter Reed, they gave me a cognitive exam.